This is video number seven in a series of videos where we're making a tank battle game in Unity for Android mobile devices. In the previous videos, we've uh, enabled our tank to move forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and left and right. And we have a feature where the tank tracks are uh, are moving depending in the correct directions depending on how the tank is moving. Uh, in the previous video we enabled our turret to rotate left and right okay and in this video what we're going to do is uh, we're going to enable the barrel of the uh, turret to move uh, up and down okay by pressing buttons on the screen. So what we need to do is we need to create some buttons so open the canvas and uh, duplicate uh, two of the buttons and rename them button barrel up and button barrel down And in the text of these, up becomes U and down becomes D. Good. Now we need to move our buttons so that we can see them. So here we can say minus 50 and 100. And here will be 0 and minus 50 okay so here are our buttons and let's have a look at these so you're going to use the event trigger the same as they did uh, with the uh, left and right uh, rotation of the turret and they're also going to refer to the same script which is in the same place okay so all we need to do is get our buttons to to work so let's have a look at this script. If you open the uh, script called player turret control, which uh, you made in the previous video, and let's uh, make some changes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, uh, we're going to first of all uh, set the speed of the, uh, the barrel and how fast it can move up or down. Okay, and here we need a public float. Uh, I've called it rot speed barrel 0.25 which is half of the rotation speed okay again you can set this in the editor and it will depend upon what tank you're using okay good so next thing we need to do is create a float called max barrel up set that at 20 and a float called max barrel down to minus 10 and a counter uh, which is a float set to uh, zero Okay, so uh, for this particular tank, uh, it will rotate up to a maximum value of 20 and down to uh, a minimum value of um, minus 10. Okay, next thing is we need to create a public static ball called barrel up and set it to false. Uh, we've made a public static ball because we want to ex access this. Uh, from a script, okay, another script uh, in the uh, next tutorial. Okay, next one we want uh, to do is create another ball called barrel down and again set that to false. And the last thing we're going to need is we're actually going to need the barrel. So we create a public game object called barrel. Good. Next thing we're going to need to do is we need to going to uh, have to uh, create uh, two functions. Uh, to join to these uh, buttons okay so here uh, we have one which is called a public public void barrel up which sets barrel up to true and public void barrel down which sets barrel down to true because we've set them to true we need some way of setting them to false okay and because we're using uh, the, an event trigger here it says on pointer down basically set it to true 
and on point up uh, set it to false okay so here in this script as we did with the rotation of the turret we're going to set barrel up to false and barrel down to false good now how do we move the barrel up and down well in uh, in here in here we've got the fixed up fixed update okay we can say if barrel up is true okay that means if someone has pressed the button on the screen and the counter this counter here okay uh, is less than the max barrel up is less than 20 okay then get the barrel rotate it on the X by rot speed barrel okay which is going to be 0 0.25 0 0 here and with the counter we add to the counter the value of rot speed barrel okay likewise if barrel down is true and the counter is uh, greater than the max barrel down value and the max barrel down value is minus 10 okay then again get the barrel rotate it in this case minus minus rot barrel speed okay so it's going to be minus uh, 0 0.25 okay here and the counter uh, we deduct the value of rot speed barrel okay good so take a, a screenshot okay save it and let's now join the buttons to these two uh, functions here okay so just wait a moment for uh, it to update and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, button barrel up to the event trigger here and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look here on the player turret control script this one here for barrel up okay and this one is the same function rotate stop okay so we do the same with barrel down again rotate player turret control barrel down rotate stop is the same as before so we don't need to change that okay and save the scene and have a look at the tank now in the tank here attached to the turret is the player turret control script and here we have the rotation speed of the turret at 0.5 and the rotation speed of the barrel at 0.25 the same as in the script now we need to get the barrel and put it into this script here and we can apply it to our prefab which this tank is okay and just check here that everything's working fine up and down right so stop good uh, save the scene file save scene and then press play and see if this works okay so it's playing now and yet we can rotate left and right and now the barrel moves up and down okay so that's working well so just to show you again we rotate the tank here barrel up and down okay so now we've got full control over our barrel 
and our turret and our tank okay okay so that works well however we have one small problem and that um, now which is what I'm going to show you now depending upon your tank the design of your tank just bring this in a little bit here you'll notice that given the design of this tank if we look here at the top we'll see that when we rotate the tank and the barrel is fully down it hits goes through the engine section of the tank okay now some tanks this won't be a problem but on this particular tank it is okay so that's the subject of the next video I'm going to show how to stop this um, barrel from going through the this rear section of this tank or whichever tank you're using okay thanks for watching hope you learned something uh, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video and see you in the next video